This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Save and refresh. Condition 2 is still true because 10 is not less than 10. Uh, but if we were checking to see if 10 is less than or equal to 10, that now changes to condition 1 is true, you see, because 10 is less than or equal to 10. And we have the same thing for greater than or equal to. Okay, and if I save and refresh, it's still the same, because 10 is still greater than or equal to 10. So anyway, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to. If I save and refresh, condition 1 is still true, because 10 is equal to 10. And then not equal to, if I save and refresh, condition 2 is to, is true, because 10 is not equal to 10, but 5 is not equal because 10 is not not equal to 10, sorry, but 5 is not equal to 10. Uh, you, you, I'm pretty sure you understand anyway. Uh, and those are pretty much all the uh, conditional operators. That's why they're called conditional operators. Uh, sorry if I mixed that up. So just before we move on, uh, I want everyone to know that uh, you can only have one if statement, but you can have as many else if statements as you want, and you can only have one else statement for every uh, if block, okay? Now moving on, we're going to look at uh, evaluating variables, okay? So I've just created a bunch of variables here. First one is my name with the value of ASIB. Second one is your name with the value of spectator. Uh, third one is uh, num1 with a value of 5, then num2 with 10, then num3 with 15, and that's that's the end of making the variables. So now we're going to uh, take a look at using if statements on those variables. So, oops, sorry. The first if statement I have here is if my name dot length is greater than your name dot length. So that's checking to see if the length of asib is greater than the length of spectator. Excuse me. If it is greater than the length of spectator then it will write condition 1 is true. Else if my name dot length is less than your name dot length. So ASIB is, uh, the length of ACID is less than the length of spectator. It will write condition 2 is true. And then we've got an else statement just saying conditions are false. And if I save and refresh this again, okay, condition 2 is true. Because my name, because ASIB only has four characters and spectator has four, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So four is obviously less than nine and that's why condition two is true. If I change this to uh, equal to, now conditions are false because it's not equal to, but I could just add some extra characters to make this uh, nine characters, so I'll just add five, one, two, three, four, five. And if I refresh this, condition two is true because they now have the same length and I think if I take this off I was uh, testing this earlier it refers to the length so let's save that okay maybe not then uh, it did last time I tried anyway <laughs> uh, yeah so it says conditions are false so you can't use that never mind uh, but actually going back this is a good thing because this is false. We we should put this, keep this at dot length. Uh, but so that's a, that was a false statement before where we took away the dot length. But this is okay because now we're checking to see if both the strings are the same. If I change this now to spectator exactly the way as it is in your in the your name variable, because remember JavaScript is case sensitive. Condition 2 is now true, because they both contain the same value. Both variables contain the same value. And finally, we're just looking at comparing, uh, well, comparing uh, two statements in the same if statement uh, using the AND operator and the OR operator. So, um, before I look at this, though, I just want to say that using num1, num2, and num3 is exactly the same here. For instance, num2 is 10. If I just change these to num2, okay, now change this to num1, because num1 is 5. 
and then num2 because num2 is 10 again and then I'll just copy and paste this into here and change that to an equals this is exactly the same as checking if uh, 10 is equal to 10 if 10 is not equal to 10 if 5 is not equal to 10 and if 5 is equal to 10 okay so I just wanted to cover that quickly anyway now moving on back to the and and the or statement here we are checking to see if num1 is less than num2 and that's between uh, parentheses to make it clear as one statement so we're checking if num1 is less than num2 so if 5 is less than 10 and if num1 is not equal to num3 so if 5 is not equal to 15 and if we save and refresh condition 1 is true because num because 5 is less than 10 and 5 is also not equal to 15 and if I change this to uh, an equals it now doesn't output anything because I didn't put an else statement there of course uh, oh yeah also just so you know I've, I've covered uh, about you're allowed to have as many else if statements as you want you're only allowed to have one if and you're not only allowed to have one else for every if block but I haven't said that you can uh, have an if by itself okay so you can have an if by itself and you can have an if and an else by themselves and you can have an if and an else if by themselves without an else okay so just that's just so you know anyway if I change this to num1 uh, is equal to num3 as I said nothing is outputted because uh, not both these conditions are true and they both have to be true because this is an and operator so they both have to be true to procure a true value 5 has to be less than 10 and that's what this double uh, ampersand means and 5 has to be equal to 15 but if we change this to uh, two vertical lines save and refresh condition 1 is true because these two vertical lines represent or so here we're saying if num if 5 is less than 10 or 5 is equal to is equal to 15 then uh, then the condition is true so for instance say I change num1 to 15 this would still be true because while 15 isn't less than 10 15 is still equal to num3 and if I just save and refresh yeah so your condition 1 is true still is outputted so anyways this has just been a tutorial based of 12 over if statements and next tutorial will be going over the conditional statement and switch statements Anyways, over and out.